What are you gonna do from here? Huh? What are you gonna do? Hello everyone and welcome once again to the Month of Thrills. Today on the agenda is Flicker of Hope. A platforming game that seems similar to Little Nightmares. Another game I tried out. Uh, apparently we're getting grabbed. Into the nightmares we go! <laughs> and only one candle shall be our flicker of hope. Okay, everything's gone black and everything's gone quiet. It's probably loading, yep. Um... I can't see anything. There we go. I was about to say. Looks like someone died of illness. The bubonic plague? Is that it? Whatever it is, it caused the skin to become... Well, I, I can't quite describe it, but there's boils breaking out all over it. And the skin is of a different texture, too. What the hell is that candle doing? Oh, interesting. Jean Wick is always melting. Regain your wax at wax pools. I see. Right, that does make sense. Candles burn out. Uh oh. I'd better hurry on back. Hurry on to the next one. Press space to jump, of course. Ah. Regain my length, as it were. So that's what he was doing. He was restoring himself with wax. But of course. Hold shift to grow your flame and run faster. Of course, that also means you'll probably burn out faster, doesn't it? Of course, that's the point. Alrighty then. Excellent. A key. Or something. I don't know what that is. Oh, I see. Oh boy, that's not good. Studio Whip presents... What an intro. Flicker of Hope. I see. We have to use this to hide the flame. Whenever that creature is around. Because it'll try to snuff me out. How do I use it? It didn't actually tell me how to use it, though. It'll probably tell me when I have to. Press control to... Powder sneak. Yeah. I gotta hide the flame. Otherwise, it'll catch me. If it catches me with the flame, it'll try to put the flame out. It apparently hates flame. Uh, I, I didn't do nothing. I'm, a, I'm innocent. My flame is out, see? Of course, I can't just hide the effect it will have. You're safe underneath things, mostly. I'm glad to hear that. Uh-oh. That creature is going to find me. Oh, shit. Well, I better run. Damn it. You damn bastard. But I was hidden! What the hell? I don't understand. I guess it's because I didn't hide myself well enough. Frick. Ah, damn it. There we go. Mo- Okay, when it said mostly, it meant not at all.
It meant that was a lie and that you aren't safe at all. Cheeky bastard. Damn it. Damn you. Um, you didn't see nothing. Ah, damn it. I guess if I stand still too long, I start smoldering. Uh-oh, I'm getting small. There we go. I'd better just run. Before it sees me again. Oh, uh, jeez. I can't seem to get away. Okay, there we go. Press Q to make a puppy. Use the arrow keys. Oh, to make a buddy. I see. There. It got caught instead. Hold on. Press Q to make a buddy. Maybe I can lure it away. Or perhaps not. This is going to be complicated. Perhaps. I don't know. I thought I was supposed to get on the table. Oh, wait. Yeah, I still am. Oh, crap. I'm getting smaller. Shit. Well, so much for that. Frick. I'm never gonna get out of here. Damn it. Oh boy. I'd better just run for it. Run away, run away, run away right now. And then of course I can make a buddy. To draw its attention. There you go, you freaking maniac. You bastard. I was that close to the next checkpoint. Go figure. Probably should have taken it. Oh, it's leaving. Awesome. Does that mean I'm safe for now? I hope so. I mean, obviously, I can still run out of wax at any time, but... As long as that creature isn't around to snuff me out, I should be okay. Presumably. And hey, I can always make a little duplicate of myself at any time to serve as a distraction. So that's cool. Oh, crap. If I cover my flame and simultaneously make a buddy, it might draw its attention better than... Oh, for frick's sake. You gotta be kidding me. Just when I jump up there, that's when the flame decides to go out. What a dick. What a candlestick dick. Asshole. Hurry up and grow. Come on, man. Stick. Yeah, dick. Okay. Just gotta do it carefully. There we go. Another checkpoint. That I was literally an inch away from, but you know. Let's hurry up and jump across here. Oh, that's just great. That's definitely what I wanted. At least this time I made it to the checkpoint. So that's good. I wouldn't say this is exactly like Little Nightmares, but... In many ways it is. I can see the comparison. So I guess I just gotta go around and bring light back to this place while that dark creature... That eldritch abomination wants everything to be consumed by darkness. And I gotta go down. 
I wasn't aware of that until I saw the wax puddle, and I put two and two together. Great. Insects of darkness, too. Presumably following it around and doing its bidding. Or just being left behind. Jean and his buddies light attracts legions of Mara. Come on. Come on, little guy. Luckily, I can just do this. Nobody here. <laughs> I just made three references to stealth things. Let's see who can figure out all three of them. They're probably pretty obvious ones, though. Uh-oh. I think I might have to do some jumping here, which means I'm going to have to take off my disguise pretty soon. Actually, no, the door's wide open. I can just go right through. Screw this. There. Good. I got to a checkpoint. Let's just hurry up and get on with it. If that doesn't make the flame go, the, the wax go out faster, it at the very least probably makes the flame bigger, which makes me more noticeable. It does say it makes the flame grow. That freaking creature again. It has no shame. Oh boy. That's not good. Those insects are liable to see me. Run. Run, run, run. Thank you. Put it on, idiot. Seriously? Freaking asshole. Of course it noticed me. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I should have used a decoy. Little big bastard. The little bastards and the big bastard working at tangent. You piece of shite. I guess I should just be grateful for the checkpoints. I have to be standing still in order to put that on, which is weird. Oh, for frick's sake. I see now. They do a dive bomb and then they make it smaller. It's not so bad if you're near a wax deposit, I suppose. Because then they just, they just end up dying. It's kind of funny. They die in vain. Oh, there's rain, too. That's gonna make it really tricky. Oh, crap. Good thing I can't see the light being given off by the candle stick. Otherwise, that would be inconvenient, wouldn't it? Jackass. Please, hurry up and grow. Good thing the camera angle is pretty much automatic. Ah, damn it. Well, just get through the door. I said get through the door, damn it. There we go, checkpoint. Excellent. Huh. Sucks to be you, doesn't it? Not only did you not get me, but my flame increases onward. You fool. I think there's wax over here. Then again, probably not. Wait. Heh, <laughs> you almost got me. Oh boy. Yep, the creature came in. It knows by the light that I'm spreading. It doesn't like light. It prefers the darkness, it would seem. And it would seem I can move some objects around. So that's nice. Oh, frick. There we go. This is a rather whimsical little game. 
ultimately. I don't even know what that creature's end goal is. If it's trying to c plunge the world into darkness, or if it's just trying to plunge this area into darkness specifically. It's hard to tell. Wait a minute, I just went around in a circle, didn't I? Ah, damn it. Dingus, damn it. I'm an idiot. Can't even see when I'm going around in a freaking circle, can I? Could have sworn. Oh, I see. I must have gotten turned around when I went through that. My bad. My bad. At least I get to a checkpoint, so that's always good. The, check the checkpoints are pretty generous, I must say. They're spaced out just enough that you sort of have to work for them, but they're not too bad. You don't lose too much progress if you die, which is good because you'll be dying probably a lot. Uh-oh. Oh boy. It seems this doesn't always work either. Okay, good. It was looking away. I better be careful of the rain, though. The rain will kill me instantly, I'm assuming. I mean, obviously. Makes sense, doesn't it? Ha ha! Suck on that one. I was about to say. <laughs> My flame was too busy lighting everything else to even come back to me immediately. That's interesting, isn't it? Nice statue you got there. Kinda. Mostly. What do we have here? Huh, that one has two missing candles. I mean, typically it only has one missing. Yep, just as I thought. Touch the rain, instant death. Luckily, that's not a problem. Oh. Does that mean that if I die, it's just over? I only have one extra life from that? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Well, thankfully, I managed to outrun the insects, so that's good. Oh, shit. That's bad. Very bad. I'm trapped. Really? You for real, man? Well, that's messed up. Oh, crap. I'm almost out of... Okay, good. That was a close one. Thankfully, I can just... go under here. That creature, even that creature must have a hell of a time going through these gates. Or at least it doesn't prefer to, unless it's scripted to. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Well, down I go. Into the dark abyss. With presumably no hope. Maybe I'll go even further down and find out what's going on around here. I better go into here before it reaches me. What the hell? Oh, okay. I was going into another room and I didn't even realize it. I just thought it was a small alcove. Oh, jeez. I, I ran right next to it. You freaking idiot. Oh, boy. I'm screwed. I'm in a dead end. Oh, jeez. Nope. Um, that's salvation. Thank God. Ha ha. Hehe. <laughs> Take that, you freaking thing. Uh oh. Damn you. Oh, jeez. It's gonna reach for me. Luckily, it can't reach very well. Oh, shit. I may have fooled it, but not for long. Okay, cool. Thank God. Man, this is tense. It's just... 
tricky enough that it really gets your heartbeat racing every time. But not enough that it becomes genuinely frustrating, as much as I like to whine about everything. I do like the style. And even to some extent, the challenges, I suppose. The mild amount of challenge. Even if it doesn't always seem like it. I will bitch in the moment. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Out of my way, Twiggy. Well, at least I have one free man. I didn't realize that it was limited. I guess I should have realized. Oh boy. Really? Wonderful. What the hell? Oh crap. There's no wax in here. I'm just gonna fade out into oblivion if I'm not careful. Or maybe this is wax, I don't know. Now I'm getting smaller. That was a close one. Okay. No problem. Just gotta play keep away. Oh boy. You know, you would think it would be able to see me very clearly, but I guess it can't. Fortunately for me. Hey. Ah, there we go. My length is getting longer. Really? What are you gonna do from here? Huh? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Snuff me out? Famous last words. It's like that quote, what are you gonna do, shoot me? Okay, jumping up the stairs takes too much energy and time. Should've went to that rail immediately, but, you know. Better late than never, as the old saying goes. Although it's better to be sooner than later. Is this a church? I know that's probably something I should have asked myself a long time ago, but... It's starting to really look like a church. Or some kind of... Building... With a ritual going on. Yeah, now that I think about it, it's probably like the evil equivalent of a church. Oh, crap. Oh, wonderful. What the? Enjoy the light, bitch. That's right. Pray. Not that it will do you any good. Ah, the light. The warm glow. That could only come from God himself. That was beautiful. And just the right amount of length, too, because... Well, I do have about six minutes left on the Let's Play, but whatever. That was very interesting, very exciting. Like I said, it was just the right amount of mild challenge that, even though it got me bitching, it never really got me frustrated, genuinely. And it still had enough to make it nice and tense. So yeah, for a freebie indie game, very good. A lot of potential, tons of potential if you wanted to make more games like this. But that is going to have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Spread this video around like candle fire. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and may the light shine upon you, my child. See you later. <laughs>